Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here. Um, interesting week this week. Things uh, calmed down after a, a week of a week, two weeks of heavy losses in the past week. What did you see in the market? Yeah, so the uh, markets had quite a bit to digest uh, over the last two weeks. Um, as many know, last week, the Fed hiked 75 basis points. And this week, Fed Chair Powell spoke in front of Congress. Um, and one of the topics he covered was you know, soft landing and the difficulty of that. Um, and for our viewers, soft landing um, is essentially just controlling inflation um, without an economic slowdown. Um, you know, a recession is in the cards. Um, the market continues to uh, closely observe uh, changes to, um, you know, U.S. domestic uh, monetary policy, uh, as well as what's going uh, on out there in uh, other countries as well. Um, ultimately, you know, everything will impact uh, the global markets and um, it's, it's something to keep an eye on. Um, another topic he discussed was, uh, you know, a very reasonable possibility of hiking another 75 basis points in July, um, which would be, you know, consecutive back-to-back -back 75 basis point hikes. Um, and then lastly, uh, the Fed conducted their annual bank stress test, um, which, you know, positively all the largest U.S. banks passed. Um, so, you know, as we talk about recession and the possibility of that, uh, it's, you know, it's positive. And it's a good thing to know that the U.S. biggest banks show that they have enough capital to um, kind of endure or combat any potential recession. Um, as for kind of more general market stuff, uh, this week we did see um, a broad rally across treasuries, equities, munis. Um, the 10 and 30 year treasury yields are uh, back down to levels we saw maybe two weeks ago or so. Uh, and, you know, for munis, uh, it's kind of the same story here uh, where bond funds, um, you know, continue to see outflows. And I think this week we're seeing around 1.6 billion. Uh, those are great points that not all recessions are created equal and the fact that the financial system seems to be have more wherewithal perhaps uh, than it did in the last recession could lead to a very different outcome uh, depending on how things go in the next couple of years how did all that translate into the muni market uh, i know the calendar was still a little bit below average uh, maybe got up to seven billion dollars uh, what kind of activity did you see right so uh you know this week was a uh, four-day week shortened um you know monday was juneteenth so uh, while it was a shorter week, we did see about 7.3 billion in supply, um, you know, which is, uh, I would say, pretty, uh, you know, average or maybe a little bit above average for kind of a holiday short week. Um, in terms of BAM, we were actually, you know, staying busy. We insured 17 deals for a total of uh, about 185 million in insured par. Um, some of them, you know, kind of noteworthy ones uh, that I want to mention is uh, $31 million A-plus Lancaster School District in Pennsylvania. That was a uh, negotiated sale led by Raymond James. Um, a $27 million uh, city of Hot Springs, Arkansas, uh, where BAM provided um, insurance on principal and interest and a surety. Uh, that was led by uh, Raymond James and Stevens. And then lastly, there was a $21 million um, City of Vernon Redevelopment Agency in California, and that one was led by Ramirez. And what, uh, what are you seeing for next week? Uh, we have one full week, and then we'll be back kind of in a holiday period again, I think. Right. It, it seems like the holidays never stop. Uh, next week, we're actually seeing, uh, last I checked, about $9, nine billion. Um, but for BAM, you know, we're expecting a pretty busy week, uh, about $372 million in insured par. Uh, the biggest one in our, our plate is a uh, $280 million Sacramento USD, California, um, and that one's with Loop. And then there's also a $40 million Lammersville joint USD CFD in California as well, and that one's going to be led by Stiefel. Great. Thanks for the updates. And you know, before we sign off, just uh, looking back at fund flows, uh, they were much more moderate this week. Uh, last week was down $5.8 billion. Um, some people noted that uh, estimated taxes to the IRS were due last week. And so uh, potentially some municipal bond investors are selling their mutual fund holdings to raise cash to make those payments. Um, so we'll see in the next coming weeks. There are definitely some forecasts out there that maybe the, the outflows wave has peaked. Uh, we'll see how that plays out uh, and how that manages uh, supply versus demand uh, for the rest of the year. Thanks for your time, David. Have a great weekend. All right. Thanks, Mike.